Okay, so this is like literally the point of contour to change your face. I mean, not, okay, not necessarily changing your face, but we're messing with the structure of your face. Because if you did see my video where I talk about the difference between bronzer and contour, and if you haven't, I'll pop it up on one of these up here so you can check it out uh, because I do answer a lot of questions in that video. The point of contour is we're creating a shadow on the face which is going to push certain areas back and make other areas come forward. So obviously if it's a light area, it comes forward in space. And if it's a darker area, it pushes it back in space. The product that I'm gonna be using today to show you the differences on each side is the Kendall bronzer stick from Kylie Cosmetics. This is in the shade Act Natural, which is, it's a contour shade. It's a very cool toned contour shade. I am going to link all of my favorite contour products, powder and cream down below in case you, you know, are looking for something specific, especially if you are like me and your light fair skin uh, and your what? Olive. Um, okay. So I'm not going to be touching my forehead because in my bronzer contour video, I addressed that. I don't use contour on my forehead. So we're going to start off with the cheekbones. Oh, this is a highlighting brush. I don't want to use it to contour. Is that weird? I just washed like all my brushes and now I can't find anything. All right, I guess I'll use this guy. Uh, so this is the Morphe G40 brush, which is kind of like a little detailer buffing brush. You can use it for foundation, bronzer, blush, whatever, anything like cream. All right, so I'm going to pick up the product using the brush. And the way that I like to contour is basically to follow like my natural shape. Uh, I'm not trying to like, change the structure of my face too much. So when I turn like this, you can kind of see, this is where my natural, like the hollow of my cheekbone begins. So I like to just kind of accentuate that. So I'm gonna place a little bit of the product right in there, just like that. I don't wanna take it down too, too low because I don't want to push this area back too far because if we make this area too dark, it pushes this back in space and it makes my like cheekbones come out way too much. And I already have like pretty defined cheekbones. They're pretty high. I'm going to wipe off my brush and I'm going to use circular motions kind of pushing upward. So I want the line of the contour to maintain here and then slowly diffusing it upward and out. So just kind of following the natural shape. Like as I turn, you can kind of see like it goes in a little bit there. All right, now what that does is just kind of intensify that natural shadow. So we're just maximizing the amount that our cheekbones are coming forward and it's making the jaw, uh, the jaw, the cheekbone look a little bit more cut. But when I turn my face like this, it's not really doing that much to, you know, adjust the structure. It's just like a hint of, oh, those cheekbones are cut. You know what I mean? Now, if I take that same product and place it at the top of the cheekbone, say you have a very wide face and you want it to look more narrow, I want to put this area back in space. All right. Do you see how this darkening this area right here sort of starts to push back the top of that cheekbone? Whereas over here, because it's much lighter, it's coming out. Now, if you take your contour up too high, rather than putting it like in here, I'm going to place it right there. I see this happen a lot with contour. Where people take it up really, really high and then do the same thing. Just buff it up. Now what that does, does now what that did was it kind of cut off this whole area when I'm looking forward. So it's actually just kind of like flattening out this part of my face. Whereas this side, because we popped a little bit of the darkness in there, it's pushing this a little bit back further in space and it's making my cheekbone come forward even more. So it's just kind of like naturally enhancing the look of my cheekbones. Another thing that people do, and this may work for you if you have like big brown Chrissy Teigen cheeks, like I always say, is they bring their contour like in here and follow their smile to kind of um, enhance that. I do not do that because I don't think that it is particularly flattering on me. This is also something that you can do with bronzer if you think that a, a contour is too cool tone for this. All right, now what that does is it just kind of like hugs the apples of the cheeks. So it's pushing this area back a little bit and it's bringing the, this area forward. So it's making, it's really making that roundness more pronounced. My face doesn't naturally do that. So I think it kind of looks like unnatural and it just at, ends up adding like sh shadow where it's just not necessary. Now I talked about this again, I believe in my bronzer versus contour video, but the way that I like to 
contour my jawline is I'll kind of make a little uh, a double chin and then I'll just see like this is the area right here that I want to push back because I do like my, my uh, chin to look a little bit more cut. So what I'm going to do is take the product and this is such an awkward arm angle because I'm trying not to hit my mic right now. And then I'll just kind of like place it in the area that I want to push back in space so that it's not as obvious like when I'm talking or if I'm moving my face. So I'll focus it there. And then I'll just use my brush to kind of like diffuse it. And then this tends to be like my problem area right here. Like when I gain weight, like fat just goes like right there and it's like not cute at all. So what I'll do is kind of like, depending on, I don't know how much I weigh at the time, I'll just kind of like feather it in this area to help push that area back so that it's not quite as, um, I don't know, round looking, I guess. All right, so see how it just kind of like helped push this area back It made my jaw look a little bit more cut. As I move, it's keeping uh, this whole area more in shadow. What I see a lot of like makeup artists doing on um, beautiful models who can get away with it, uh, or if it just like flatters your face shape. I see some people do this, where they like cut this area. Like they bring it up here and then along the jawline. Rather than pushing it underneath, they place it right on the jawline and also bring it up. And for whatever reason, push this area back. I think it's to like, I don't know, maximize the chin or make the chin pop more. What I don't like about this for my face shape is that pushing this area in even more kind of just makes this come forward. So it's kind of doing like the opposite of what I'm trying to do over here. I'm, I want like that shape, you know, for my jawline. This is like doing this. It's pushing this area back, rounding this spot right here, highlighting that beautiful breakout, and then because we're following the actual line of our jaw and not just underneath it, it, it's not doing anything to push like this back in space, whereas this is. Does that make sense? I realized that was like super basic, but I understand that it can be a really difficult thing to visualize, especially when you don't know your exact face shape. So hopefully this helps you a little bit. If you haven't seen my bronzer versus contour video, please watch that because a lot of people didn't know the difference. And uh, I guess that's it. Let me know which one you wanna see next. Happy to continue the dude series. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go and uh, do my makeup. Bye.